Greetings and salutations, travelers. I'm the Spicy Dinosaur, and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. So it's all happening just like the seer said it would. We'd better get out of here. <laughs> Wait here. You, but oh! Don't worry, I didn't kill him. But he won't be waking up anytime soon. Things will get pretty hairy up ahead. You'd better take this. Oh, and I found this in a corner over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? Could be. Me? I got this little beauty back, so now I'm pretty much unstoppable. We better get out of here before any more of our tin-headed friends come knocking. Hollow when you're ready to move out, okay? I'm ready right now. Unless I have to re-equip stuff. Is it gonna make me do that? Equipment. No, nope, we're good. Let's go. I spend ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it? Heck of a coincidence. Guess I really was meant to help you out, just like the seer said. Anyway, there'll be time to talk about all that later. In you go. The sewers, huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I got your back. Okay. Why does that look green? And that nothing. That's weird. Can't light that. That's strange. That door's locked. That door's locked. Destroy all this. I can't see. What are you doing? There we go. Come on, this way. Yeah, what do you think I'm doing? Uh, not that way. Where is he? Follow my lead. Oh, you are going this way. Why? Right, snuff that torch out and follow my lead. Okay. Let's do this. My health is still there. That's dead. There we go. Who 
I'll swine some. <laughs> Only nine. Uh, anyway, items. Item bag, medicinal herbs. I have a million of these. Okay. Follow my lead. I'm trying to. Where are you going now? Guys, don't give up, do they? Huh? Seriously? Here, I thought we were gonna jump on purpose. I don't even know this guy's name yet. Look, there's a safe spot. You okay? Looks like we shook the guards at least. And that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. That sounded a little echoey to you guys. Like, I don't know if it was on purpose because we're in the, the cave or not. Nothing, nothing. Let's save here. Save. Oop, no, no, stop. So I guess I probably should have uh, did that guy's quest before I went to see. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Green dragon. Or it could be a different kind of dragon. Something there. Yeah, how'd you not see it? Oh my goodness. Nope, that is not a green dragon. I don't know what kind of dragon that is. Oh my goodness. Fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. Agreed. Are we running again? Let's get out of here. No, it's not letting me control the camera. I'm just running. Here we go again. No, he did not. Huh? <laughs> Why would you think that? Uh, I spoke too soon. Doing more running. Come on, quickly! I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my gosh, you could you get it. Get into battles here. You just hear all these 
Everyone's running or running away. Just ting 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 ting. <laughs> Those metal slimes. Not that I'd be able to fight one now, but that's where you get all your experience from. Don't stop. He knows you're there. Has it gone? Whew. That was way too close for comfort. What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. Yeah, that Car Cornelia or whatever his name was is evil. Uh oh. Oh, it's just gonna break through. Oh. I mean this dragon design is like the the dragon lord from Dragon Quest 1 <laughs> We made it just I don't know how much more of this I can take Huh? Oh, come on. That dark spawn. Ah, me and my big mouth. Move now. <laughs> oh, looks like our luck finally ran out. Oh boy. That's gonna be a fun there job. We We've got them now. <sighs> hmm. No way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. <laughs> Hold! <laughs> hmm. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. I don't have much choice. Come on, let's not do anything stupid now. <laughs> the name's Eric, by the way. <laughs> let's do this. Erdrick and Eric. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, I guess now we will sit through this. Uh, if it was five or six where you could literally change your class to anything you want at any given point in time and also switch out characters to get new ones but 
I remember I was uh, grinding levels and I just spammed everyone being a martial artist because they were so tough. It's definitely one of my favorite classes. So if it, if uh, if this gives me the choice, if it's not like eight, um, because I think on eight, you know, each character had like two or three uh, main routes you could follow for their leveling. But I'll definitely, if I get someone that's a martial artist, they'll definitely be on my team. I mean, if this is where the game's actually starting, because <laughs> I, I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> Finally. I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. I had to drag you all the way here on my own. But what a jump it was. I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. <laughs> anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. Sounds like a plan. Make a daring escape. Strong medicine. Ah, there you are, my children. I trust that your friend here is fully recovered. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just fine. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. This guy's accent so all, weird. <laughs> I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. Criminals, you say? Dear me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were in Heliodor. I did indeed, my child. There were guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. And I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, the village the fugitives came from. <laughs> oh. But you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. They will soon be caught, I am sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Thanks. We appreciate that. Um, we're going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss, right? Oh, 
Cobblestone, eh? Never heard of the place. I never even knew anyone actually lived in those mountains down south. Is that really where you're from? I'm guessing you want to go see what's happening down there. But you need to be smart. You won't get past Hendrik unnoticed. If you're going to make it there without getting caught, you'll need to avoid the main road. Hmm. And if you want to do that, you'll need my help. I know every back road there is to know in these parts. But I've got things to take care of in Heliodor first. I left a little something in one of my old haunts downtown, and I need to get it back. So, are you coming along for the ride? I did help you break out of that dungeon, remember? Of course. That's the spirit. But we can't have you bringing us any unwanted attention. Ah, I've got just the thing. Here, put this on and keep your face hidden. Otherwise, you're gonna get nabbed as soon as you set foot in Heliodor. Let's see what I look like. Oh, come on. <laughs> that... That's more like it. No. If you're going to be a wanted man, you might as well look the part. Right. Let's head north and hit town. Glad you're coming along. The seer told me to stick with the luminary when I found him, and that's just what I'm going to do. Yay. <laughs> All right. What's going on there? Pep powers. Uh, Pep powers, an incredible ability that can be performed by two or more party members. When at least one of them is pepped up, some pep powers can only be unleashed when everyone involved is in the state. Select pep powers from the menu when it appears. Okay. That's good to know. Um, attributes. He is level 5. Equipment. Eric. You don't have any equipment for that hand. Put on a bandana. Uh, no, no. Wolf wear. A black leather outfit once won bought by Eric. How come I. Where did I get that from? Uh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Don't have any accessories, don't have any accessories. It's got a bandana, wolf wire, and a dagger. Okay, uh, where did you go? Miscellaneous character builder. Yeah. So like other previous uh, Dragon Quest games, as you level up, you get um, points to work on building your tree. Uh, I haven't spent these yet. So I still think for Erdrick, I want to focus all my points first on the this luminary tree down here first and then move over to uh, uh, swords. And then I'll have to go up to sword mastery. Probably not going to bother with great swords at all, unless you know I get enough points down the line. Eric, however, oh, we can put on boomerangs. Ah, where's boomerangs? Right up there. Ah, he might have to have a boomerang. Who are you? What? So that blue-haired chap with you is called Eric. Is he? Well, he looks like he knows how to handle himself. You could have picked a worse traveling partner. That's for certain. 
Now tell me something, have you heard of pet powers? They're special attacks that could only unleash with your companions. Basically, here's what happens. When spells and abilities are mixed together in various combinations, and believe me, they're well worth learning. <laughs> I can't have I, just, I can see I've piqued your interest. All right, let me think. Of course, I've got just the one for you to try. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that if you and your friend Eric put your minds to it, you'll be able to master a little cracker known as the real decoy. All you need to do is team up and try it out on some helpless monster. You'll soon see how incredible it is. Well, what do you say? Fancy giving it a try? That's a spirit, but just a word of warning, the pep power won't work unless the people performing it are pepped up. And what does that mean? I hear you ask. Well, it's when you're in battle and the monsters are attacking us. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. Anything back here? I don't even know where we're at. Downtown Heliodor. Yeah. I don't know where we're at. Hey, um, Bobkins or something. Bodkin. Alright. Well, uh, no one's pepped up right now. Six. I was not expecting them to hit so hard. Uh, just keep going. Because he got buffed up. 44. Okay. Let's jump right back into another Let's battle. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Additional herb use. Uh, I don't need one right now. Okay. I mean, I'm sure I could go all willy nilly with them. Oh, two of them. Three damage, that's fine. All right. Let's do this. Ow. Nice. Who else wants some? <laughs> See, fifty five, twenty six. Get over here. Fight you two. Oh, just one. I gotta go to that tree. 
That's so crazy that it shows you this stuff. What's up? When you're in battle, it's like, hey, you missed this, or, you know, look, look around this area. Alright, I gotta pause it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like.